Hey, what's up, guys? We're Pierce Savelle, and this is part two of our uh, interview. Pure volume. Uh, this is actually for Tony. Jalen uh, asks, uh, Imperial or Jaylen, Rebel Army? Jalen. Jalen, yeah. Definitely Rebel. Rebel Army. He's going nice. Rebel Army. That's an easy one. Those are the good guys, right? Yeah. Why Rebel, though? Let me, let me read one of those. Good guy. Oh, good guy. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, Benny yes. Guns asks, oh, what? Would you rather face a zombie invasion or alien invasion? One more time. Would you rather face a zombie invasion or an alien invasion? I would well, probably, we, got the, we got a plan for a zombie invasion. Yeah, we're I all going to get it in a house. A nice house. Really nice house. Probably somewhere in LA. And? And we're going to set up a bunch of um, treadmills around the entire <laughs> area. So they'll just... Like your Maraguay, like yeah, they'll just be, they'll be just, just keep, keep walking. We'll be hanging. We'll be drinking orange. The only fear is that they're gonna get really buff and like <laughs> eventually <laughs> like. Ah. That's my idea, though. I keep using it to like balance on this. Thing. So definitely zombie. Yeah, kind yeah, of zombie. They, they they on zombies. Crazy. Let's see, J C Nguyen, what's the uh, writing process like? What goes through your mind when you write music? Lots of tequila. <laughs> tequila. Tequitos? You know, there's not for us like there's not like a, a set. Um, way that we make songs, like it's like it's kind of just a big, like, mess of cluster, cluster, cluster like the, parts and you know? cluster. Actually. Yeah, we just kind of like and... like this song was written a year ago in this while we we're on tour. This song was written in this cabin that we rented or whatever. You know, like, um, yeah. There's no real like set process. I think that's kind of what makes. Yeah, know. I think because our our touring schedule is always so busy, it's just like we can never really find just one place to write for a certain amount of time, so we just gotta write when we can, so. Mm -hmm. What's up? <clears throat> that is... That's a fun name uh -huh, right there. Uh -huh. That's the way I like it. Yeah. Um, These names are fancy, man. Tiana Zuniga asks, will Jaime do more singing on the, on the next album? Not if I have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would you guys want to collaborate with in the future? Boom. Um, yeah, you never know. We gotta start getting you guys on the albums, you know, start we'll do some, using these do golden some, pipes. Do some, do some screaming over there. You can yeah, make Tony, we tried to get him on the album. I couldn't really. Couldn't really. I, could, well, you guys left before we did vocals. So. He killed the chimes, though. Oh, oh I can't do chimes. He's trying to play the chimes. We gave him a couple We actually had to step him down. <laughs> <laughs> How do you Sorry. not play it? So you just hit him. <laughs> they sound beautiful. Too slow. <laughs> just, imagine it, real beautiful long ones. You know, quick. <laughs> Bad timing, I guess. Um, yeah. Next one. Who would we want to know? Well, collaborate, yeah. Yeah, collaborate. Uh, collaborate. We like to collaborate Smith. with Will Smith. Oh, well, there you go. He's, he's handsome. God, he's so good looking. Pull that off. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but we like to collaborate with our friends. Good yeah. friends. Tight friends. Will. Let's be friends. Will. All right. Jennifer Esteban. 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 Esteban asks uh, the good, bad, and the ugly about touring. Uh, what's the good for you? The good is traveling, getting to see tons of different cities and Agree. go to a lot of places I probably never would have gone in my life if it wasn't for touring. Mm -hmm. Mike, what's the what's the bad? The bad, ooh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing no. bad, there you go. There's, there's always the, you know, you miss your family and friends and, you know, San Diego weather and SoCal weather and... Yeah, also depends on the tour. <clears throat> Warp tour, bad. Ooh, that's the good and the bad. Hot one. Richie Marino asks. What? My boy Richie? <coughs> Richie! Richie! How hard was it at the beginning of your careers getting signed in the whole start as a small band and possibly holding lame jobs you didn't really want? Any tips you'd offer to aspiring musicians? Mm. <coughs> okay. Uh, start, us start from the bottom. Okay. All right. First of all, uh, you got to make that demo. First of all, you got to tune your guitars. Yes. Yeah. Rule number one buy go buy the Boss Chromatic Tuner. Buy a tuner. It'll change your life. Use it, and you won't sound like an awful band. And yeah. Learn your instrument before you start doing guitar throws, whips, yes. whips. Yeah, <laughs> learn learn how to play before you start going crazy on stage. And uh, record a good demo. Record a good demo, and, and then it pass it out to the yeah. world, however many people you can get. Me and Vic used to go to every show, you know, malls everywhere, and just hand out demos. And dude, then. I used to spend hours and hours inside of Kinkos, just oh, like yeah. cutting up little. Um, like flyers yeah. and like things for our CDs, like. And we were handing out. We were handing out even Pierce Savelle like two song, just to spread it. Remember? 
Yeah. We're just handing Dude, stuff that was out. Like, like steal from Kinko's. Back when like they didn't make you pay, they made oh, you pay yeah. like up at front. Like I would, <laughs> we had it all figured out. Be back there like <gasps> trying to cut up as many as I could. It's awesome. Yeah. And the thing with the jobs, it's it, that's a funny thing because I was working at a, a venue and we were getting like pretty pretty popular like in the local scene. And, so I'd be working and there'd be kids like asking for autographs and pictures and they're like, why, why are you working here? So yeah. like, I'm not making any money doing this. <laughs> I was, I was a pizza delivery guy. Oh yeah. That's what's up. I always thought that would be like a cool thing and then I started like, just what, in yeah. my car smelling like pizza the entire time. I tried to take a girl out on a date and she'd just be like, <laughs> just super Sounds suspicious. Like pizza, it's like yeah. super scandalous. It's like, yeah. usually cars smell like pizza. I was like, I'm a pizza guy. But, like, it's pretty rough. Uh, what we got? Ashley Hernandez wants to know, okay, what are the stories behind stained glass eyes and colorful tears? Mm. That's kind of, that kind of actually goes with the last question. It's like about like, um, you know, starting from like, you know, like when you're doing your jobs and stuff like that and then like having dreams to become like, you know, you have these like goals to become whatever, being a, in a band or, or or whatever, just successful in general, and you have like your dreams and stuff, and and it's kind of about like the process of getting there, and and in the in the song, it's like about like a couple like trying to stay together and supporting each other, and and all the like crazy stuff that it's, that's along the way, and like all the struggles. The process and, of losing and gaining. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and trying to, uh, you know, it's about the struggle getting up there.